Hey there, history buffs. Get ready to uncover a hidden chapter in the annals of World War II. Today, we're diving deep into the fascinating story of the German expedition to Tibet, led by none other than the enigmatic Ernst Schaefer. Picture this. It's 1938, and the world is on the brink of war. While the rest of the world was focused on the escalating tensions in Europe, a daring scientific expedition was about to set off on an extraordinary journey to the mystical land of Tibet. Ernst Schaefer, a renowned German zoologist and SS officer, spearheaded this ambitious mission. But what was the real purpose behind this seemingly innocent scientific endeavor? As it turns out, the expedition had a hidden agenda. The notorious Reichsfuhrer SS Himmler saw an opportunity to exploit Schaefer's reputation for Nazi propaganda. He wanted to use the expedition to further his own fascination with Asian mysticism. But Schaefer had his own scientific objectives in mind. He refused to include certain individuals who subscribed to pseudo-scientific theories, and he demanded scientific freedom for his team. However, compromises had to be made to secure the expedition's funding. With the support of the SS Ananerba, the expedition was given the green light. But there was a catch. All members had to become SS. Schaefer, determined to make his mark on history, agreed to the conditions. Armed with a team of young and fit explorers, the expedition set off on a treacherous journey to Tibet. Their mission? To create a comprehensive scientific record of the region, covering everything from geology to ethnology. But as the expedition progressed, rumors began to circulate. Some claimed that the true purpose of the mission was to uncover the Aryan roots of the Tibetan people. Anthropologist Bruno Beger's controversial measurements and casts of local individuals only fueled the speculation. Amidst the scientific research, the team also immersed themselves in the rich culture of Tibet. They witnessed breathtaking rituals and captured stunning footage of the New Year celebrations in Lhasa. Schaefer's meticulous notes shed light on the religious and cultural customs of the Tibetans, covering everything from marriage to homosexuality. His accounts provide a unique insight into a world few had ever witnessed. When the expedition finally concluded in 1939, the Germans returned home with a treasure trove of artifacts, plants, and animals. Their collections would later be used for research purposes, with hopes of achieving Nazi autarky. Join us as we unravel the secrets of this little-known chapter in history. From the hidden motivations to the remarkable discoveries, this expedition to Tibet is a story you won't want to miss.